Hello, welcome to this quick video. Um, I'm going to go through a Nornia Python tutorial. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what Nornia is and how we can run our Nornia tasks. I'm going to show you the basic setup of Nornia and then we're going to run one script just to run a quick command on a few routers. So let's go into the main screen. So Nornia is a Python automation framework and it's been written um, by David Barroso and Kirk Byers, and it's a fantastic evolution into the world of network automation. Um, we're going to demonstrate the benefits of Nornia. So Nornia probably can be compared to other tools. Um, most people would say it's an evolution from Ansible. Um, which is a brilliant tool, um, very easy to get started with. Uh, you don't really need to know any Python, uh, whereas Nornia does require you to have some Python knowledge to get started with it. It's a little bit more of a harder barrier to entry, but once you do get started with Nornia, the power and the ability to do more of what you want uh, will become clear. So let's just go through a very simple Nornia Python example. And I'm going to step through uh, how Nornia is set up. So I've just got a, a folder here um, in Visual Studio Code. Um, I've installed Nornia. Um, to install Nornia, it's a very quick uh, process. You just do pip3 install Nornia and this will tell me that everything is already satisfied i've already got nornia installed in here so that's great um, i've got it installed i'm running python 3.8 um, and then you create a few files uh, so you need to create a config file uh, and in that config file you define where all the information lives regarding the hosts, the groups, and the defaults. That's the inventory. And then within the config file as well, you tell Nornia how many uh, num workers you want it to run. Now, this is one of the beauties of Nornia. It runs everything concurrently. So all the tasks will fire at the same time. And in my case, I'm doing 20. This can be 200. This can be 2,000. Depends on the power of your machine you're running it on but all tasks will go together which is why Nornia is such a, a quick tool and then we go into this inventory so all of these files are specified with the inventory uh, we have default file where we just define the highest level of information so for my example I've got platform iOS Roger and Cisco as the username and password then we define a groups file these are groups of hosts and then the actual hosts themselves. So I've just got router one, host name here, IP address, and then the group that it resides in. So currently I've got uh, router one and router two. So let's just put uh, router one in the correct group, CSR routers, and that's there. And then the final thing, let's see in action. So I've written a very simple uh, Python script here. And so as it's a Python file, you have to import um, any uh, elements that you need for it to operate. So from here, we're importing init Nornia, we're importing a print result from a plugins, and we're doing some NetMiko. So NetMiko is the library we're using to connect to our Cisco devices. Um, and then you define NR and you initialize Nornia. This points to the config file. And then I'm gonna use the filter. So this is saying router, and then it's filtering it on all the groups that contain CSR routers. And then I'm just gonna use NetMiko to send the command show IP interface brief, and then I'm gonna print the results. So then to run, that task, I'll just say Python 3 uh, show IP int dot py. This runs the Python script bang. This is the output um, of a NetMiko connection wrapped up in the Nornia framework. So it's doing a NetMiko send command, and this is the output that we've requested, and this is what we've got back. And if I wanted to filter that, so I'm currently filtering on CSR routers. 
So let's say, for example, in my host file, I just made router2 a member of ASAV, and that's another group I have in the group, so that was that one. So now router1 is not a member of that group. We run this again. This will just hit router2, uh, which it did. So that is a very brief, very brief overview of Nornia showing you in operation. I've whizzed through the content there. Uh, my name is Roger Perkin. I'm actually a CCIE based in the UK and I do have a Nornia automation course. So if you're interested to learn more about this, then hit the link in the description. Um, I go into in depth onto every stage of the Nornia process. So all of the stuff I've been through here, there's a, a lesson for each of those explaining every bit along the way. And then we're gonna progress that course. It's currently being recorded now, so I'm adding lessons as we go. There's a low introductory price uh, that you can take now, which will give you early access to the course. And then as the lessons get added, you'll retain that access. So I look forward to uh, meeting you if you do decide to, to have a look at that. Um, all the details in the description and please hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these quick videos, then subscribe to the channel and I'll see you very soon. Thank you.